Wander, of course. Big game. Um, it was a lot more intense, more physical than I expected, um, which we had a chance to do that. Uh, I feel like the last couple of years, um, actually, no, I'm making that up. Um, <laughs> um, I'm, it was just more physical, more intense than I thought it would be. Um, we had a chance to get back to, to Texas football, and there's a lot of uh, two-a-days feeling to it. And... Uh, Tackling drills every day and very physical. It was uh, it was a good work week. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, and that all came really from the coaches. I mean, it, it just bled over to us. Uh, whenever coaches are out there, uh, John with each other and and offensive coaches and defensive coaches are talking trash to each other. Each other, then uh, you know it. Uh, you have no choice but to kind of join in. Coach Keenan, for sure. He comes up with some good stuff. Is there a moment or two from the player's perspective that kind of stood out in the last week that maybe woke y'all up or just changed things or changed? Um, I'd say the, the first tackling drills, um, the first set of tackling drills on Tuesday, I guess that was. Um, like I said, it just went back to a lot of uh, fall camp, two-a-days feeling. Um, to where it's, it's not so much, you know, we're getting ready for a game, you know, so we weren't having to worry about um, resting our bodies and stuff. Uh, and so there was a lot of hitting going on and um, and very physically. Whenever we took off uh, took off our, our bottom pads on Thursday, it was still very physical. So. Is that a lot of frustration or do you think it's more focus? Uh, it's more focus. It was, it was more the idea of, of working on us. Uh, you know, we can't control what, what Nebraska or anybody else does that we play. And so we wanted to use last week to, to work on Texas, Texas football. And, uh, and this week uh, we'll be able to, to integrate more of our, our game plan into our practices. Did you sit down Thursday night and watch the Nebraska game? Uh, I didn't. I really don't like to watch uh, the, the TV copies of games. Uh, I get distracted and, and start cheering for people and, and being a fan and, and so I like to uh, I like to get in the film room when it's dark and uh, it's just me and there's no announcers telling me what should happen and stuff. Uh, so I'm I'm really able to break stuff down and and look at what I'm actually going to be looking at in the game. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Um, I mean, more of, more of the spread look. I think a lot of the same, the same ideas as far as the power running game and stuff, just out of a, a shotgun or, or pistol look. Um, so it's it's a lot of the same schemes, but uh, obviously they have uh, with Martinez back there. It's pretty much another running back, so um, a running back that can throw. So with his his separation speed and his running ability in the open field. Uh, we have to treat him like a running back, and, and somebody's got to be accountable for him at all times. <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. I think uh, it was just some mistakes that, that costed us uh, at the wrong times. You know, we we're making mistakes in, in situations that um, the offenses were going to exploit, you know, those mistakes. And so. Uh, we haven't gone anywhere. We haven't lost anything. Uh, we still know what we're capable of, and we still have the expectation of going out every week and, and winning games. Uh, so right now it's Nebraska, and, and it's going to be the biggest game of the year, and whatever next week's game is will be the biggest game of the year. And in order to keep our goals intact of, of giving ourselves a chance to play for the Big 12 championship, obviously we need to keep winning. Um, well, it's, it's hard to, to not carry over um, a little bit from losses like that, tough losses. Um, you know, we want to prepare for each game individually, but at the same time, we want to um, 
take those mistakes and, and learn from them and make sure they don't happen again. Uh, and so we've got a lot of examples to learn from in these last two games. And, you know, that was, that was part of last week, just fixing, fixing some of the things that we were doing to hurt ourselves. And uh, we want to make sure that, that we're playing the team with the opposite jersey on and not ourselves because uh, that, that was definitely happening a lot in the past two games. Um, well, we, we bring the same intensity every week to practice. I can honestly say that, um, that since, since the day I got here uh, two years ago, it's been like that every week. Uh, Coach Muschamp, Coach Akina, they're, they're, the same, they're the same guy for every game. You know, they're going to prepare just as hard, and they're going to expect the same, uh, the same level um, of performance and preparation from us every week. Uh, so regardless of who we're playing, um, it's it's important to everybody. You know, you can you can tell that it's important to the coaches every week. Um, they love what they do, and and that bleeds over. You know, we we love we love doing what we do. So regardless of who we're playing, um, you know, we're gonna prepare and and play the same. Is it personal? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I could say that. Uh, you know, we're all competitors. Uh, we all want to win. And so every, every loss, it's going to sting the same. Um, so I don't know if I could say it's personal. All of us are competitors and we want to win and we want to perform well individually. But, um, you know, if you perform well individually and you lose and it still hurts the same. Um, so uh, I think all of us are going to go out this week and, and do what it takes to, to get Texas a win. And, uh, and that's why we all came here, because Texas wins and uh, we need to get back on track. Oh, I think it's going to be a blast. I mean, I've, I've heard, uh, I've heard all sorts of good things about playing up there and the atmosphere it is. And uh, I've watched games uh, on TV, and I don't think that really does it justice. Um, I've played in enough um, stadiums to know that by now. Um, but I think it's going to be a blast. You know, uh, anytime you can go into a hostile environment. Um, to where it is kind of everything raining down on you. You know, you feel the pressure of the fans and stuff. Um, that just makes it that much, uh, that much more fun. And, um, you know, the guys that thrive in that, uh, you know, they're going to show up. Dang. Uh, it's, it's whatever. It's whatever you guys make of it. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, we're not saying it. So um, I don't, we don't go into to any game really considering – uh, considering ourselves uh, to be superior or or whatever an underdog, um, we go in expecting to win. Um, you know, like I said, that's why we all came here. It's what Texas does, and we prepare that way. We prepare every day to win, whether that's in the middle of March and spring ball, in the middle of January and off season. We're preparing every day to win, and so um, I don't know. Yeah, it's. I mean, we're going up there expecting to win, regardless of of what the pick is or what the point spread is. Y'all had, had the model last year, one second better. Mm -hmm. Kind of Nebraska's taken on after the big show championship game last year. What does what saying mean as you go through a year? Is it something you think about during the week to kind of keep you going? Is it something in a game that you Yeah. Can... Well, in that case, it was just reminders. Um, I think it would be the same for Nebraska, you know, through their offseason preparation. Um, that it was just a reminder for us that year that that's how close we were. Um, you know, if we would have been that much better, if we would have been that much more disciplined or, or whatever it might have been, uh, we would have given ourselves a chance to fulfill our dreams, you know, and that year, you know, to play in the national championship. Um, so uh, I think that's all it is. It's just a reminder. Uh, anytime you need, you need that boost to get going in the morning. Um, and sometimes it's hard, uh, especially, like I said, in the middle of January, 